Hello everybody, it's Noel Jack, and welcome to another episode of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe playthrough series. So, we're going back to Grand Prix mode on 150ccs. Last time we chose Wario, and this time we're going to choose a different character that has 85% of the votes from the community tab, Rosalina. And let's choose a bike because choosing carts would just be boring, so we're gonna do something else. I can't remember if I chose the... sports bike or not in a previous... while well, I was doing the boosters course, but you know, I'll just go with it anyway. And now we're going on the Star Cup. Starting with the first race. Sunshine Airport, which is a pretty nifty track. Yep, a lot of sweet tricks in this place. You know, ramps that you could trick off of. Will I make it? Yes. Swiss! Oh, that was my lucky, lucky day. I didn't get hit. We go. Oh no! I got lucky again. Final lap. Let's go. I'm gonna hold this for a blue show. I think this is a smart idea, unless I get hit by the lightning or something, or. A red star comes my way. So. I guess you have to be risky on that. What the? Oh man, I missed the item box. Yep, the first race is complete. You know, the co most controversial thing is, you know, people say that Rosalina is like the better princess. And people started hating Peach for, I don't know, for who she is and what she does. People like Daisy for being bitter. One of the most controversial topics in the history of Mario, in the Mario gaming community that I know of. Even though I'm a fan of all, all of them and Peach is my first favorite, I really don't mind people disliking her. Because, you know, I understand giving other characters more spotlight is important. But I like the other, other princesses just as much. And Pauline Nackley grew on me as well. I know she deserves to be in spinoff titles like Mario Kart 8, which I'm really glad she did. So, Nintendo made a good choice. 
They knew what they were doing. Yup. Rosalina slays. Stupid red shells. Yeah, these really like, frustrated me, me when I was playing Mario Kart Wii and Mario Kart Double Dash when I was young. Especially in higher difficulties. If you get, like, you know, the lower difficulties, like in 50cc, 100ccs, just don't expect to, you know, not get hit by red shells or, heck, even blue shells. Trust me. It's happened a lot to me. You know, if you ever struggle avoiding, you know, red shells and stuff, you always keep getting hit. You just feel like you're getting cursed by them. If you hear any background noise, that's basically the rain going on. Yeah, I hate the rain. Electrodome. You know, I really like the this track, you know. With the music, it just looks cool. Villager. She took my item box. Especially the good one. Ah, and I got hit by the banana peel. I'm gonna try to hold this for a boost though. Watch out for those banana peels. I wonder if there's a way I could switch the items. No, I don't think I can.
Third place. I'll take it. It's no biggie. I'm still in first. Mount Wario. That was a back hole for me. Ooh, it was in that blue shot. I was just trying to see if I could see if there's a bu button where I could switch items, but I don't think you can. Not in this game. Lost in the woods. Ah, oh, snipe. Oh. Guess Villager's my rival. More like Killager, cause she's killing it. Yeah, that's revenge from the previous race. So. I hate the lightning. It's so annoying. If I want a mushroom, I would take that shortcut. Okay. That's how we do it. Yep, skip the results. And that's gonna be it for the 150cc Star Cup of this Let's Play. Um, in the next video, we will do the 150cc Special Cup. I'll see you then. Bye.